All right, y'all, first up, we're gonna add a little bit of oil in the bottom of that pan. Y'all, right, here's that andouille sausage going in. We're gonna brown that sausage down. That andouille cooked down right there. Mmm, looking good. We'll get it on up out of there. Loco tray right there. Mm -hmm. right, now we're gonna hit that pot with three pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs. All right, y'all, we got that chicken we're browning down. Check that out. What I'm doing, I'm taking this big, big wooden spoon. I'm just kind of chopping that chicken up. And we're going to season it up a little bit here. So we're going to hit it with that black pepper first. Oh, yeah, get them all coated down with that black pepper like that. Mm -mm. And we're going to hit it with that Southern Boy low sodium right there. Hit it with that Southern Boy. Look at that color in that Southern Boy. Woo! Man, season that chicken up. Then we're gonna hit it with that salt. I know everybody will say, oh my goodness, low sodium and then salt. That's all right. Then we're gonna hit it with a little whisker. Watch that whisker, y'all. Oh man. Pour that whisker in there. What we're doing, y'all, we're just browning this chicken down. We're cooking this chicken. We wanna make sure it's all cooked good. All right, y'all, that chicken, look at that. Woo wee! Chicken looking good. Getting it all moved down at this end right here. And we'll get that chicken up out of there. Mmm, mmm. Look at that, y'all. Mmm, wee boy. All right, y'all, what we doing, y'all? We're putting three ounces of oil down in the pot now. We're gonna let that oil get hot and uh, add our flour. Now it's time to make our roux, y'all. So we got a half a cup right here. We're gonna take a half a cup of flour and we're gonna see what it looks like there. We might have to add a little more flour to it. Might have to add a little less, so we'll see here in a minute, see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Root time, baby, making that root. All right, y'all, there's our root right there. You see it? That's our root right there. Now what we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna hit it with that Holy Trinity. Woo, like that. And we're gonna push that down. Put some onions down in that root, get it all mixed up good. Oh, man. That's your onions, your bell pepper, and your celery. We're going to add our, our andouille and our chicken back to it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Get that all mixed up good. Oh, that's looking good. That looking real good. All right, y'all, now we're gonna add 32 ounces of that chicken stock. Mm -mm. Oh, you hear it all coming together, don't you? There we go. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cook that down a little bit first. Look at that gravy in there, y'all. Look how it's all coming together. Mmm, mmm. Gonna keep some good stuff right here, y'all. Gumbo! All right, y'all, at this point, now we're gonna hit it with that garlic. We're gonna hit two tablespoons right there. Garlic in there. You don't wanna burn your garlic, so you don't put it in too early. You gotta put it in right at the right time, y'all. Mmm, mmm. All right, y'all, now we're gonna add some more chicken broth to it. Mm. Yeah, add another 32 ounces to it. And now what we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that cook in. That's right. And the third 32 ounce thing of chicken stock or broth, whatever you want to call. This is the homemade, so really good stuff right there. All right, here we go. We add another 32 ounces of chicken broth. And here comes the point we're gonna add a little bit of okra. I don't like adding a lot of okra to mine. I don't like how okra makes it slimy, but I am adding a little bit of okra to it because we got a few people that like okra. I'm gonna drop out four of them bay leaves down in there. You know, the last time I cooked this, I put like six of them and somebody said, oh man, you're putting too many bay leaves. I don't know, I think you could put more in it. All right, y'all, we're gonna add one tablespoon of that filet gumbo in there. And that filet is kind of kind of tough, guys. You don't wanna add too much, you don't wanna add too little. If you add too much, you'll get a real, real filet taste. So we like adding about 
tablespoon to a big pot like this here. And if you want to add more to it, you let you just set it out on the side and let them add it to their gumbo. Woo-wee, y'all look at there. Mm, mm, mm. Looking good, smelling good, got everything in there. Now what we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna let all that flavors, all that cook together. We're gonna let it simmer down for about an hour. Woo, here we go, y'all, time to check that gumbo out. Ooh, wee. Look at that, y'all. Mm, give it a good mix like that, give it a good stir. I think it's ready. I don't think it's ready. I know it's ready. Get that dipper right here. Take that glove off like that. Look at here, y'all. Got that rice in that bowl. Get down there, get, look at that chicken. Oh, man. Look at that andouille sausage right there. Mm -mm. Follow me over here, B. Look at that potato salad, y'all. Look at that potato salad. Got that Southern Boys on the top. Drop that potato salad right there on top of that gumbo like that. I'm telling you right now, y'all. Woo, gumbo! It just don't get no better than this.